on the announcement that's about to Uh, the People's President, Advocate Nelson Chalifa. Thank you very much, um, members of the press. Okay. Let me take this opportunity to first apologize for late start. This is not on account of our own delinquence or ineptitude. This has been occasioned by Zach. This afternoon we approached Zach to give them what they didn't expect. We are not approaching Zach as MDC Alliance. We are approaching ZEC as a new organization. So they kept on insisting that, look, we know you as MDC Alliance, said, but who are you to tell us who we are? We are a new organization. Anybody launches their party anytime in terms of the laws of this country. So for that reason, we are coming as a new entity with a new leadership with new values, new structures. Alas, they wouldn't end it. We want MDC Alliance. Tell us that you are rebranding. We are not rebranding. If you know MDC as a brand, please dine with those whom we have given MDC Alliance. We are a new party. Nothing to do with the past, nothing to do with the yesterday. We are starting afresh. Yes. We'll build from ground zero, we'll start afresh. Yes. We'll defeat them like we did in 2018. Oh, yes. We'll start afresh. Yes. yes. They wouldn't take it. They had meetings after meetings with our senior leadership. We have given them our new logo. We have given them our new name. We have given them our new leadership. We have given them our new trust, except our new strategy. Everything else. We have given them in terms of the dictates of the law. Yes. So we are expecting them to cooperate. We have been ready with our new candidates. They recalled our old candidates, but we have come up with new candidates. Some of them were in the previous organization, but they are new, newly born. So thank you for bearing with us would have wanted to start right on time. Because punctuality is a characteristic and an idea of serious revolutionaries. So once we say three o'clock, we have to start at three. I want to apologize on that account. We couldn't come here without that response. But after all is said and done, they said, fine, we have now received your letter and we want to see your constitution. They said, the constitution we have. It's a brilliantly written document. It will help you to understand who we are. So we have new everything, new headquarters, new name, new constitution, a new mindset, a new trust, and of course a new focus and a new philosophy. The philosophy being to focus on the citizen, making sure that we replace the citizen in all the discourses that we have seen eliminating the citizen. So that the citizen is back to the center. The citizen is responsible for decision making, policy making. Every decision must be centered on the citizen. That is where we are going. Where you have politicians taking over, we want the citizen to come back so that we displace politicians and replace them with the citizen. That is who we are. So behold the new. The new is upon us and the new ideal. We have always said that we are building it, and we have now built it. It is here, it is there, and you are going to see. We keep moving forward, we have opened new doors, we have listened to the people of Zimbabwe. This is not an easy decision. <clears throat> the people have told us, please leave the dirty past alone. Focus on building a new, fresh future. 
and I'm the face of that future. I'm ready to leave the church until such a time and point when then people say we are giving the responsibility and honors to the other. Our focus is to champion transformation on behalf of Zimbabweans. So our key thrust is to deliver the platform of transformation. We have said that there will be no confusion. We do not want any confusion. Those other people came after our name. They thought that they taken MDCT, we said, have it. They said that they taken Changere, we said, have it. They thought that they taken our headquarters, we said, have the headquarters. They thought that they taken MPs, we said, have those MPs. They thought that they taken our finances. Fine, share with Mr. Mnangagwa the bed. But I can tell you that it's not a bed of roses, it's a bed of thorns. It's a matter of time. They've taken literally everything, but thank God we still have ourselves. So we've lost everything except ourselves. That's why we are building on the basis of ourselves. Nothing to do with the past, nothing to do with any rainbows. If you want MDC alliances, you have said, take it. If you want ourselves, tough luck, you can't have us. Because we cannot purchase them, we cannot be sold. We are convinced that our conviction to bring change to Zimbabwe is unshakable, is indomitable. <laughs> so as I say, Zimbabweans, citizens in Zimbabwe, know who their leaders are. They know who their champions are. They know who champions their struggle, the struggle for better wages, the struggle for better salaries, they are working class struggle in this country, student struggles in this country, women's rights struggles in this country. They know who stands for the citizen. They know who is the face of hope, the voice of hope in this country. Those in Zanupi have known. That's why after stripping us naked, they still come to us. And we say, look, go to those who have, whom we have given the borrowed robes. They don't even believe those robes. They still want us, even naked. So because of that, we are very clear. We are charting a new course. And today represents that new dawn, a bright future, a start of a new trajectory in Zimbabwe. We are the gold standard. We are the reminder that it's possible for the sun to shine once more and once again in Zimbabwe. And it will shine. <laughs> yes, a new great Zimbabwe is being built. But as you know, even in the biblical times, wherever there is a new level of anointing, there has to be a new name. From Jacob to Israel. Yes. From Sarah to Sarah. So we are here. We are not just having a new name. We are also having a new entity and a new organization. And a new people. The leaders you see have been renewed. We have left the past. The vices and transgressions of the yesterday, we have left them. And we are saying, we represent for you hope, happiness, joy, freedom. Hope is what we stand for, and hope is our other name. We represent ideas, solutions, the mosaic beauty of our Zimbabweanness. That's what we stand for. That is the vision we wish to usher into this country. A great new Zimbabwe vision, which we are going to share with the rest of the people. A vision that spells glory for our journalists, glory for our workers, glory for our civil society, glory for every citizen, glory for those who matter to care, including those in politics. But the beginning is to do with transformation. And our nation is only going to be transformed when we begin transforming ourselves from within. That is the process we've just begun. And it has to do with politics, our political culture, our manners, our values, our habits. Toxicity and negativity have destroyed the fabric of our country. We need to move away from that. And we'll transform in values, in norms, we'll transform also in how we approach things because we are transformers. We will transform lives in communities. We will transform lives in the country. And that is what we stand for.
Because of that, let me say, because we are building the new, we are also in the process of building a solid A team. A team that cannot be defeated. In fact, 2023 is already a done deal. Yes. We've done it. That's why they are shaking, jumping from pillar to post. They know that the game is on and the A team is ready. Of course, there's a by-election. It's a side show. It's a side win. But because we are people who are enjoying and waiting for the great you know, feast, we will go for that side meal as an appetizer, as a starter. But never mistake the starter for the main meal. The main meal is in 2023, and we are ready. Yes, we will share our vision, we will share our dream, we will build the momentum in the country. It's already there. The people have spoken. The people want change. I've listened to war veterans. I've listened to traditional leaders, chiefs, crowheads, headmen. They have told me. Farmers have told me. Business people have told me. We want a new game in town. Help us. Look at what is happening to our fellow Zimbabweans. Embarrassed and harassed in the neighboring country. Zambia, South Africa, Botswana. We need to restore the dignity of our people. But that dignity is restored by having an organized institution. Away from the clutter and confusion that we have seen. And Mr. Mnangagwa, thank you. You have helped us to clean our basket. All the bad apples you have taken them. Enjoy the meal. Thank you. <laughs> what is our central philosophy? As I conclude, is citizen back to the center. The liberation struggle was about the citizen. One man, one vote. The liberation struggle was about the sovereignty of the people. The decision of the people being allowed to take center stage. That's what the liberation struggle was all about. Son of the soil was about the citizen. That is what we are going back. The politician has replaced the citizen. We want to remove the politician from the center of decision making, police making, law making, so that we have the citizen. The politician must be a servant, not the master. And the citizen must be the master, not the servant. That's where we are going. It's not going to be easy. It takes a lot of sacrifice and pain. those who are used to the old ways of course you can't teach an old dog new tricks but there are times when an old dog has to become new in their approach and that's where we are from a leadership point citizens have to be at the center is our emphasis it's a citizen based philosophy that's why our party is restoring the dignity integrity the responsibility the authority the voice and dissent of our voters the voice and distance of our citizens. Citizens are the engines that turn the turbines of a nation. When you get citizens in the right mode, reconstruction becomes easy. And that's why we must listen to the citizens. And that's why the new outfit has a perfect and beautiful name. Beautiful to even have a meal with. Or for those like blessing who like wine, to have a nice drink for it. The Citizen Coalition for Change. Once again, the new baby, the Citizen Coalition for Change. We have left everything. Color red, take it. We have a new color in town, gold. Yellow. Yellow, yellow. <laughs> we said, oh, you want a uh, chisa, mama, chisa. Fine. Chisa, longe. We want to go to Ayukube, chisa, mama, chisa. Chisa, nan. <laughs> we are focusing on the new. And we're going to introduce the new. We have said, we are number one in the country. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are number one in the country.
That's why yes. we have been fought, because champions are fought by mediocrity. Yeah. We are number one. Yes. yes. This one. We are number one. I saw some people say, no, no, it's not a symbol. This is just how we greet each other. Yeah. We are number one. Number one. You can't stop us. 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 Number one. That is the direction. Yeah. Cause will unveil all the other things, programs, the necessary colors, and all the other values that we have to share. But it's a big tent. It's an omnibus. Everybody. Come. Let us reason together. Come and join this great movement, a citizen movement. Come and join this elephant in the giant of an organization. No more are we doing cheese or what, what, no, no. We have moved. It's part of our history. It's no longer part of the future. In fact, the MDC cannot be the government of this country. In our old self, in this current state, or future state, the future is here. Yes. We represent the new government. Yes. yes. You are looking at the new government. Oh, yes. yes. Members of the press, I'm so humbled by the number of journalists who have come. Thank you, and may God bless you. May God bless Zimbabwe. Thank you, Zimbabwe, for your patience. I appreciate. You have waited. We told you the baby is coming. You wanted to see the baby. So, yes, citizens, coalitions for change. We are having citizens coming together. It's a citizen affair. It's a citizen endeavor. It's a citizen decision. It's a citizen way to say we want together. It's a citizen affair. It's a citizen endeavor. It's a citizen decision. It's a citizen way to say we want change in Zimbabwe. So farmers for change, we want to see what you are doing. Teachers for change, we want to see what you are doing. Lawyers for change, we want to see what you are Accountants, we want to see what we are doing. Miners, we want to see what we are doing. Vendors, what are you doing? Workers, what are you doing? The church, what are you doing? Every Zimbabwean must be organized for change. Yes. Yes, the by-election will come. Like I said, it's a curtain raiser. It's very important to participate. That's why we said we are participating. To make sure that we also see what's happening. We test our systems. We also expose those who are biased. So yes, one who will be checking on Zek. This time we will not allow Zek to play and join the other team. Yeah. If they do so, they are setting this country in a motion that is irritable. I'm not threatening. I'm giving a promise. We will not be what we did that way after winning you abuse us yeah after winning munangaba has not won the election in this country and you know it that's why he had to be served in the courts he did not get the mandate of the people and because he has suffered from illegitimacy that's why he cannot solve my problems in Nikai. they want to say ah munangaba is a solution to this country give him a chance we have given him a chance he has squandered every chance mm. Oh, Mnangagwa is good for business. Business is stinking and sinking because of Mnangagwa. Oh, well, Mnangagwa is open for business. He is shut for business. You have seen it. And we are ready to give you that key to the future. We are the door to the future. We are the way to the future. What? CCC. Citizen Convergence. Citizen Coalition for change. Because we are converging all citizens. This is where we are, and I'm so happy for those who have come. Thank you very much, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm going to take just a few questions, just a few questions. As usual, may you kindly just identify yourself, give us your name, your media house, and one quick short question. Yes, sir. Uh, Tafmane from uh, Slime Media. 
Uh, is it the norm that when you submit a new name, they ask for the election manifesto, or it is the first time it has happened to you, or it is what happens to everyone else who goes to register with SEC? Well, a, a constitution, I suppose. There is, it's not dead by the law. It's whims and caprices. But it's also panic. They were expecting us to come with MDC Alliance, to come with MDC, so and so, and then we are entangled in numerous and endless legal <laughs> fights. We are no longer interested in that. We are a new baby. Thank you. So it's, it's not the norm. But I think it's being done because they are panicking. <laughs> but we don't understand why Zek would panic on behalf of our <laughs> opponent. Yes. Because our competitor is not Zek, it's Zanu. Yes. Yes, we know they share a Z, but please let it end there. <laughs> Thank you very much. You've heard the president of the Citizens Coalition for Change. They are panicking. Yes. <clears throat> yes, my name is Blessed Mkhala, Newsday and HSTV. Um, I, I just wanted to know that there are still MPs in Parliament yes. who, who, back, uh, who have been backing your leadership. Uh, one of them was just behind you. Now that you have changed uh, your party name, does that not affect his continued stay uh, in Parliament? <laughs> Certainly not. Whatever. Whatever. That's what we have told you. We have told you that we are putting the citizens back at the centre. It is the citizens who voted the MPs who are in Parliament. Yes. Nobody has the right to timber with the mandate of the citizens. Mm. If they so choose, so be it. Yeah. And these MPs are not worried because they were chosen by the people yeah. and not by these pretenders, yeah. tricksters, and deceivers. Yeah. They were chosen by the people. So we are not going back. Yeah. These are tough decisions and we are ready. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, in, since 2018 elections, we have been talking about the leg legitimate aspect of the sport. Now that you are coming in as a, as a new party, are you abandoning that, uh, that uh, question of legitimacy as part of the grievances in solving this crisis? I hear you talk about two Are you abandoning that crisis? That, that Does a thief stop being a thief because there's a new police officer? Yes. <laughs> 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 Thank you, police <laughs> Africa. I'm just going to ask two more questions. Are there any women journalists amongst us with the question? Okay. Um, if not, uh, gentlemen at the back. Yes, sir. My name is Dr. Chawanda, Bruce from ZBC. Thank you, Bruce. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. <laughs> After prolonged the fight for the name MDC, can we simply say that you have accepted the thing? My dear brother, let me tell you, <clears throat> there was never a fight. Yeah. So you constructed a fight <laughs> in the Herald at ZBC, yes. you constructed a fight at Zampia headquarters mm -hmm. with your Arakashi Twitter <laughs> enter. That's where you constructed that fight. There's never been a fight. But there's been confusion sponsored by the state. Yeah. And thanks to Tokozani Kupe for telling us what has been happening behind the curtains? Mm. That there has been a hoggy dory affair between our colleagues, our SY colleagues, and Mr. Mnangapa. And that whatever has happened is sponsored and coordinated. That's why for the first time you see an purported opposition person going to have tea at state house. Not that it's bad. If there's mutual respect, that's how the nation must go forward. No country is governed by one side. In fact, countries and governments are two sides, the leading party and the alternative party. Mm. But the problem is that Mr. Mnangagwa has been trying to shoot at straws, mm. creating his own government organized opposition. Mm. We don't have any problem here. People know the alternative. Yeah. The opposition and the government are defined in a general election. Yes. In 2018, the people defined who should be in government. It is us. Yes. But they went to the court and switched sides and brought us into the opposition. We said, fine, 
We know that legitimacy is always going to buffet you. Yeah. When you have a legitimate problem, you can't solve potholes. Yes. When you have a legitimate problem, you can't fix roads. Yes. When you have a legitimate problem, you can't even fix the salaries of civil servants. Mm -hmm. Because you don't have the contract with the citizens. Mm -hmm. But if you give us just a week, Bruce, you'll be driving a beautiful car, cages of the new government. That is who we are. So there's never been a fight. Historical fights shall continue to be there where they belong. If you leave your house, Kusarago Adongo, but it's fine for Wapa and Inki, but I no longer stay there. But can I put a yard on Mushak not to get up Mushak or Ko? Kurotanda goes. With Sakanganisa, our newly found home. And one day, I'm going now, but we have a new start. In any event, it is a shell. Without us, there's nothing there. Look at it. You know, watch the space. I know most of the colleagues were there. I know them, their capacities. I worked with them. And I wish them well. Are you living behind the garbage again, Goman? That one we want. This is the Goman. So you can. <laughs> <laughs> the young man is here. <laughs> okay, um, you say that uh, everything now is new. Um, there are certain statements or allegations that have been made in the past that uh, your party, MDC Alliance, that is now left, was infiltrated heavily. Now we have started a new thing, a new baby has been born. Is this new baby coming with the hairs that are coming from the past, the infiltration? Well, uh, who is going to deputize you because we have just said you're the president? Who are you deputizing? Well, you, you, you will have the right step at the right time. Yes. You will see the leadership structure, you will see everything. For now, you are seeing the head. Yes. Don't ask for the neck. Mm. There can never be a head without a neck. So there is enough organ structure supporting this head. But we have just shown you the face. Yes. Now you are saying, no, we want to see where is your tail. <laughs> we are a beast. That's what a fight for change in this country. <laughs> we have shown you our face and the other organs you will see. Beast legs and the beast tail. Everything. But now you are talking about infiltration. You know, nobody infiltrates an ineffective organization. What it shows is that we are, we, are, we are a big game changer in this country. Yes. If you look at the money that has been spent on fighting us and destroying us, but guess what? We are still standing. Mm -hmm. We're with at the storm. You would build a new town or a new city just to divert the resources that have been deployed against us. Mm -hmm. They will continue to try and infiltrate. Any living organism can't live without infiltrating <laughs> external virus or bacteria. But it is our inbuilt immune system that is going to save us. Mm -hmm. And that is born from the philosophy we have of the citizens, but also the conviction we have, the purity of the heart and the purity of our minds in terms of fighting for change in this country. We have not wavered. Some people say that you abandoned Shangri's legacy. Far from it. Shangri's whispers are still very fresh in my ears. And that continues to be the inspiration as we go forward. Mm -hmm. What about the about this hope for the future mm. that we continue to care. But of course, the past we bear. Yes. The future we construct. Yes. I hope I pass it. Thank you. Yes, sir, in the blue, and then we'll come back to the gentleman okay. next I think let's have three last ones. Just three last ones. <coughs> We've had a nice afternoon. Yes. Okay. My name is Delight. We're from ENC. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chamisa, thousands of Zimbabweans are flocking to South Africa, uh, searching for jobs and better life. What's your comment? And what's your way to present? Well, this is a very serious issue. I'm extremely concerned. We are extremely concerned. We're in the process. In fact, we've done a lot of further engagements at governmental level, at party level, with the ANC to try, because it's the governing party in South Africa, to try and improve the understanding of our situation. The immigration crisis we see in the region is evidence 
and a demonstration, a manifestation of the sickness in one of the countries in the region. Zimbabwe is sick, and because Zimbabwe is sick, it caught a cold. The entire region is coughing. Let us fix Zimbabwe to have credible elections, to have proper reforms, to have a path to governance so that we pave way for a stable South Africa, for a stable Botswana. Zimbabweans would not spend a day any longer if their country is in good shape, if their country is fixed. But of course, it's also a clarion call to Zimbabweans in South Africa, in those neighboring countries, to say, look home. Let's deal with the problem. Let's face the challenge. Let's fix it. Come register to vote. Yes. That is the only solution. So yes, we'll do whatever is necessary to use our diplomatic muscle, which we have in sufficient proportions and capacity, to engage the powers that be. To also understand that Zimbabweans are in a difficult situation. Inja one, Inja all. African solidarity and brotherhood is about looking at Africa as a continent. We believe that we are one Africa, never to be divided by colonial boundaries. Let's not be victims of colonialism. Let's look at the problem. One Africa, one people. If we are affected in Zimbabwe, we are affected as Africa. <laughs> we have the heart of Africa, and it's one heart. With the mind of Africa is one mind. Let's think as Africans, feel as Africans. Together we'll be able to deal with our challenges. No outsider, no external support, but our own self. Together, none but ourselves as Africans. We believe in African solidarity. We believe in local solutions to local problems. Our continental issues are not far too big for us or a challenge. We'll be able to solve. So my message. It's the same thing Zimbabwe. We are doing everything. And the journey has just begun. Join the movement. You are a citizen. Join us. Join yellow. Join gold. We mean wealth. We mean the future. We mean a new dog. Join us. I'm going to take just one more question. Sorry, because of our time, we do need to disperse. So, sir, I'll take that one question and then we'll close the proceedings for today. My name is Ipas Matanda with Newsday. Uh, considering that the resources are always limited. What Please, sir, uh, speak up. Considering that the resources are always limited, what strategies are you going to use to ensure that someone in rural Florida is much uh, away of the end in all the changes? The greatest resource in any human existence is being resourceful. And we are very resourceful. Our people are our resilience. Yes. The citizens are our resilience. They thought that they had taken everything. Guess what? The citizens are driving this. They are oiling this machinery. You saw, you know, I've not yet received that vehicle because I can't go and ask for something that has been given by citizens. But they bought a vehicle out of their own initiative, not being asked by the organization. That's the competence of our citizens. And they're going to do much more. They even said, we're going to raise some money to make sure that you have money for the countries. I said, look, we are not going to ask for it. But when you give it, thank you. That's what the citizen philosophy is all about. <laughs> when you go out to people in the, you may think that people in the rural areas don't know what they are doing. The reason why Zanfir panics like a snake when you go into the rural area is because they know they have no support. Nobody beats up people who support them. Yes. Where there's love and affection, there's no violence. Mm. Violence is evidence of evaporated love. Mm. <laughs> so don't worry about people in the rural areas. They know the message. Yeah. In fact, they are ahead of us. God in the commander came from ordinary people. Yes. It's not even a party slogan. Mm. But it's a citizen initiative. Mm. They are saying God in the command. And most people think about this young man. No. <clears throat> God in the command is a symbolism of the people of Zimbabwe saying that this is the opportunity we have for change. When this young man gets in, our issues are resolved. Yes. They know our competences. They saw what we did in the inclusive government. We fix the ICT problem right now. You know that you go everywhere with coverage, though we are still to do so much. We will do it. Give me a chance, Mr. Mnangagwa. One week you will see this country different. You will be the first beneficiary.
<laughs> Thank you, fellow colleagues. May God bless you, and may God bless Zimbabwe and Africa. We love you. The journey begins. Jandukom <laughs> Zimbabwe! Zimbabwe, 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 Thank you.